Welcome back guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see how to create an AA agent which can use search tools to get you real-time information uh, using Langchain. So far, uh, we have seen how to use an AI using prompt template and for specific applications, but uh, you already know that the AI trained model is like limited information. That is, uh, it has been trained until uh, 2023 uh, knowledge data. If you ask for uh, who is the current president of USA, it will show you the old data, which is until uh, 2023. So if you want to search for real time information, you can use a search tool, which gives like a whole paragraph like a context and uh, it will use that context and uh, give you the response. So that's why we are going to create an AA agent for this. Uh, so it can know wh when to call a tool and uh, when to use it to get the re uh, appropriate response and uh, we can get the answer from it. So this is a search tool I'm going to use but apart from search tools you can use uh, any number of tools uh, that you want uh, using this uh, AA agent. You just have to like add uh, a number of tools in a list. Let's see how to do this. So first we have to install modules. So here pip install langchain langchain openai if you are using openai models langchain community what else we need langchain sorry lang graph so these are the models we are going to use then we will import modules so here from langchain dot chat models chat models import init chat model then from langchain community dot tools dot tavily search so this is the uh, search up search tool I'm going to use in order to use this tool you have to set a API key uh, for this so make sure to set that API key and then uh, use this tool. There is a free limit uh, for this tool. So you can use up to like a thousand searches per month. I think that will be enough for uh, a small project. So import Tavily search results and from langgraph dot prebuilt import create react agent and from langgraph dot okay this is double g langgraph dot checkpoint dot memory import memory server if you want to use a uh, memory within the AJ a agent let's run this then we will initialize the search tool initialize search tool then uh, we can uh, I will also have this uh, environment so set environment key OS dot okay we didn't input OS so import OS then environ off so in the complete caps Tavily API key set the key here so your API key from the Tavily website so for now I'm just going to leave it as it is and then I will initialize it in the next code block I'm not going to run it but if you have the API key you can just paste it here I just uh, saved it in my system environment variables then search tool equals tavily search results of max results I'm going to set it as 2 because if you have like too many uh, results I think uh, uh, I think it, it's not needed you can uh, have up to like 3 to 5 so for this uh, demo purpose I am going to use uh, 2 then I can uh, 
show you an example sample usage and uh, search results equals search tool dot invoke you can pass the query I will have the query in a variable so I will say what is the weather in Los Angeles okay this is my query so if you ask um, chat GPT it will just uh, throw some random response currently we are just getting the search results so let's print this print search results so currently it's searching the using the API and it got the response totally we have like two uh, JSONs you, here you can see so this is the first result which have like all the details from weather API and uh, the second one is from different website like weather to travel and it has the information in a string format using this information uh, the AI can uh, generate the response so that is the concept here you can also ask like a different query who is the current president of USA let's run this now here also you can see uh, from this website it got the correct information and also from a different website it got the correct information so using this uh, information it can uh, give you the corresponding response so these are the tools I am talking if you have like additional tools like which can call different API uh, you can uh, just add the tool as it is and just uh, pass it to the agent so I will create a tools list tools equals for now I'll just have the search tool and uh, we have to initialize the model as well so initialize model and model equals init chat model of gpt 40 mini and model provider will be open ai so model will be initialized and uh, tools is set then we can create some memory i'll just have it in a single cell itself tool is set memory if you need memory saver finally we will create the agent create agent okay now agent equals create react agent of how to pass the model and pass the tools then you can pass the checkpoint as well so checkpointer equals memory if you want to store the memory but for this uh, tutorial i'm not going to use the memory so this is how you can use it but uh, we are not like asking like follow-up responses in this uh, tutorial so i'll just uh, come on this one and run this so agent has been initialized let's uh, call the agent so response equals agent dot invoke you can pass the messages or you can just simply pass it as it is like hi and uh, response of messages minus one i just need the last message dot pretty print run this okay something has happened okay it's expecting a dictionary so we cannot like pass it like this so dictionary inside it we will have messages because this is not a direct chat model right so that's why it's throwing the error so we pass this in the messages it will have the list and inside the list we will have the tuple we have user message here we say a hi 
okay now it's just uh, replying as a normal chat agent it doesn't have to like call any tools uh, here now let's ask the question uh, as a agent let's just copy this paste it and we just ask the same question so it will just uh, retrieve the response and say it in a natural language okay let's run this so first uh, based on the query it will call the tool and uh, now you can see it's just uh, showing the current weather in Los Angeles it's just showing all the uh, metrics in a clear uh, manner in a clear textile uh, this is not at all clear but uh, the natural language response is much better and uh, you can check more details at the link so it also attached the link here so this is much better and we do the same for the other query and uh, let's run this now you can see instead of that uh, gibberish uh, to json uh, response is just giving the response in a natural language format the president of uh, us is uh, uh, donald trump and uh, it just uh, given the date as well so this is much better right so if you want to know what is happening uh, behind the screens uh, you can do like this for response okay for recent response of messages and res dot pretty print run this okay first this is the human message which we passed then the message is uh, created the tool calls is happening uh, it has the call ID and argument will be current president of USA so we have passed this whole message but it just concatenate sorry truncated it into current president of USA and uh, this is the tool response and you can see this is the whole response and using this response it generated the result so that's how the tool calling works sometimes uh, the agent can call the tools like multiple times in order to get the a full response it also happens for uh, some use cases let's say if you want to uh, search the uh, internet and also retrieve some information from the knowledge base there will be multiple tools or multiple tool calls will happen and finally you will get the correct response so this is how you can use an AA agent with uh, tools uh, to get a intelligent uh, response and uh, that's pretty much it guys uh, if you have any queries regarding this video i'll be happy to assist you other than that if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this see you guys in the next video